Watch out, I'm Alan Carr, and you're watching SBTV. Check it out. He's a professional chinwagger that can get a lol out of anyone. And I've heard he's feeling spexy. Here I am with Alan Carr. Hello. Hiya, love. How are you doing? Really good. We're very excited to have you making your SPTV debut. Oh, why has it been so long? I know. What well, we've been we've been waiting around for you, you know, I've but I found wanted to be on SBT V. Oh really? Yeah, I love it. I'm always listening in. How are you? <laughs> and uh, what what is it about SBTV that you love so much? You. Oh, thank you. Oh, you, you and your oh, ways. Oh, <laughs> if if I can't get Babe Station, yeah. I always watch you. Oh, thanks. Hmm. Well, uh, I'll, ta I'll, I'll uh, take that as a compliment. It is a compliment. Yeah. I love Babe Station. Oh, really? No. No. Yeah. <laughs> Well, um, I've uh, heard you are feeling spexy, that's right. I don't want to get my wires crossed or anything. Yeah, I'm feeling spexy, mm -hmm. yeah. Especially when you're watching Babe Station. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> the glasses steam up. Woohoo! <laughs> bit, bit, yeah. bit hot and bothered behind the computer, yeah. <laughs> Have you ever been in a posh car and they put the heated seats on without telling you? <laughs> oh, no, Alan, you haven't. Not again. And um, I heard that you suffer from stage fright, so how do you overcome it just casually walking into Wembley? I don't get stage fright. I don't no. go like, ah, like okay. that when I see it, but I get like, Bleh. Yeah. Bleh. I want to be sick and then I have like funny poos. But oh, no, do I'm, you? Oh, really? But I'm not like, um, <laughs> no, but I'm not like, I no. can't go on. Mm -hmm. You just have to deal with it. And just yeah. have to use the energy. It sounds all like arty farty, yeah. but you have to use the energy and like adrenaline to just yeah. go out there and give it the best. It was so funny the first night, like in Brighton. I was like, "Hello, I want to wear a spicy bees." Yeah. I was like, "Alan, just calm down. Yeah. They're all here to, they're all paid to see you. Yeah. You know, have a laugh." Yeah, and so, yeah, once you get the nerves out of the way, it's mm. fine. Now, I heard you used to do question and answers at the end of your shows, didn't you? Mm, yeah. But you didn't do it this time round. No, because someone I said any questions, and a woman said, "Are you a train or a tunnel?" What? What? A I don't... train or a tunnel? I'm not explaining it. No? Oh, so would you say that, what was the best question you got then? Do you know, do you know what are you a train or a tunnel means? I don't know. Have a think. I am, I'm trying. Are you a train or are you a... Oh, are you a train or a tunnel? <laughs> oh dear. Oh, Alan. That's a bit Don't rude. Let me show you. Yeah, know, let me no, show no, no, you. Right. Well, uh, <laughs> well, I leave that for the after hours special. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whatever you're into, Al. <laughs> but no, when I ask... Oh, can I say, is this some kind of like dirty? No, no, no. <laughs> back on, back on track. Um, so, uh, what? what? Red. <laughs> oh, excuse me, do you mind? No, getting, no, getting me all hot I, and bothered. You and I, I mean, because yeah. I thought it'd be nice for people to ask me like, oh, Alan, how do you get into your mindset? Yeah. You know, do you enjoy doing chat shows? Mm -hmm. or but no, someone, are you a train or a tunnel? Yeah. And I was like, oh, <laughs> moving yeah. on. That's my private business, thank yeah. you. I said I was a mega bus. Oh, did you? <laughs> Excellent, yeah. yeah. For a pound, I'll take you where you want to oh, go. Really? Cheap but reliable. I know, but you catch something when you're on there. Oh, do you? Well, yeah, I've got to uh, sanitise beforehand. But oh, yeah. What, about shagging me or that oh, on the bus? Oh, no, just by, you know, looking after yourself <laughs> before you get on. <laughs> you don't know what to believe. I think they get a bad rep, some of these kids. You're reading the paper one minute, they're morbidly obese. The next thing you know, they're in these gangs, isn't it? You know, if a kid pulls a knife on you, whether he's going to stab you or cut another slice of Black Forest Gatto. You don't, dear. Apart from the question and answers getting deleted, how was this tour different to the ones that you did before? And how's, how's the DVD different? Uh, well, the, the DVD, like, well, Two Fairy was filmed at Hammersmith Apollo, but this one, because it's like a, like a big old arena and it yeah. was sell out and everything, a, a big old screens, a bit of dry ice there, yeah. great music, sound quality yeah. is good. Because I've seen some stand up and they haven't bothered investing in the big screen, yeah. so when you're yeah. at the back, you want to watch the DVD, mm. you know, shit. But, um, but so you, you have to invest the money in it and it's a real show, real yeah. show. Because you want a bit of hoo-ha, really, don't you? Yeah, you want lights, yeah. magic, you know, all that. Because yeah. mm. you've done so well since your tour before. Mm. It seems like stuff's just changed for you massively. Like, you used to warm up for Jonathan Ross, is yeah, that right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then when you went on the show, how was that? 
so weird coming through those doors yeah. and you've seen all the people who work on all the cameramen and all the oh. thing and then I've got my own dressing room because before yeah. when you're a warm up you're really bottom of the food chain yeah. I mean if I did have a dressing room it was like basically a disabled toilet yeah. Yeah. And that's where you'd have to just sit in the disabled oh, toilet yeah. and then um, and when I was a guest on it I was shown oh, around this totally. dressing room it was fruit there's fruit there's flowers I'm like wait a minute Hang on. I've just been stuck in like a disabled toilet with a massive hand yeah. <laughs> I mean, um, I didn't even know this world existed. I've done jury service. I'm getting good at spotting criminals and suspicious looking people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was behind this woman at the cash point and I was doing the normal thing. You know, you've got to stand two steps behind, didn't you? <laughs> but you know, it's when people start acting suspicious, they make you act suspicious. <laughs> she was like, this is the cash point. And she says to me, you're looking at what I got. You're trying to steal from there. I think I'm going to steal from her, do you know what I mean? <laughs> it was £62.12 overdrawn. You often talk about the kind of old jobs that you've had in the past. You used to work in Tesco, is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tesco, Brent Cross. Mm. Oh, Brent Cross, oh, near me. Very yeah, nice. yeah. do you go in there? I might, I might have seen you once. My nana's in there quite a lot. I used to collect the trolleys sometimes. Oh, did you? Was you a good customer? Did you take your trolley back or did you just used to plonk it there and drive I, off? I often did because I normally wanted the pound back, you know. I like to. You want the pound back? Yeah, you have to put a pound in the trolley, oh, though. I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you don't get it back unless you put the trolley back, do you? Well, that was one of the perks of the job, was taking oh. the one back with the, the pound. Because mm. you got a lot of people from Hampstead, do you know oh, what I mean? Yeah. And they were quite, like, posh. Yeah. So, like, yeah, what's the pound? Just mm, shove well, it. And then I go, I'll have it. <laughs> like, put the trolley back <laughs> and put the pound in me thing. Well, like, why not a pound top. of trolley? I mean, yeah, come on. Exactly. Boy's got to earn a wage. <laughs> I hear you. And how about the call centre? How was that? Grim. <laughs> yeah, I worked at uh, um, British uh, British Gas, um, oh did a bit God. of cold calling, and then I did uh, Barclay Card for two years, oh and for God. one year that was lost and stolen. Yeah. Tell me the story about, um, did you once have to do a Mexican wave while you were at the call centre? Well, they were doing things to boost morale, because a few people have committed suicide, oh. so they were trying to, like, boost up morale, and yeah. so they went, Mexican wave now! <laughs> so they go, Hello, how can I help you? My name's Alan. Yes, I'll just put you through to accounts. Yes, why haven't you paid? Oh, just the <laughs> most depressing thing ever. Oh, no. And they brought in this new thing, like, if you go to the toilet, they gave you um, three minutes to do a poo and one uh, minute to do a wee. No. And if you did over, you had to fill it into a logbook. Oh, uh, really? Literally a logbook. Oh, how appropriate. I know, yeah. I know. <laughs> I mean, they invent things now I don't even know. Listen to this, I took me two goddaughters swimming at the leisure centre. No one told me they'd invented a wave machine. <laughs> Did you know about this? I'm sitting there minding my own business. <laughs> All of a sudden I hear... My locker key was round my weak leg. <laughs> I thought someone had pulled the plug out. I'm like, help! Now, here at SPTV, we kind of started off as kind of urban music mostly. Yeah. A lot of grime. Are you a fan? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm often doing the dutty wine <laughs> and the oh, butterfly. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Wow, how's this? You Rihanna taught moves. me that, love. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Have you, have you got, like, any favourite artists or anything that you listen to? <laughs> Too many to mention. Oh, yeah. So, I hear you. <laughs> um, who's in? Who's in in the grime scene? At the moment, well, Tiny's obviously blown up, but I don't even know if he's... He's almost pop now, isn't he? He's very big. Is he grime? He's not he's, real. He's kind of started off. He started off as grime. What's um, that skank one? Uh, migraine Skank? Migraine Skank, yeah. yeah I learned that on one. YouTube, the Migraine yeah. Skank. There's also, you know, how about Boy, boy Better Now? Right, migraine Skank? Yeah. Can you do the Migraine Skank? Morgan can, yeah. No. Yeah, do you want to? No, come, on, come on, Morgan, come on, Morgan. Come on, Morgan. 
<laughs> Can you do the migraine scan? Um, yeah, I think it's kind of like, I mean, you know, yeah. We can do you get incorporate it, get it done. Dirty wine? Uh, I mean, that is a real Saturday night for me, Dirty Wine, Migraine Scan. Uh, yeah, oh, I mean, I mean, I mean, yeah. <laughs> X Factor, Migraine Scan, Dirty Wine, then I'm in bed by 12. <laughs> and then I might, might, might finish off with a Rolex suite before I tuck myself in. Why not? Why not? Yeah. <laughs> it's your Saturday, love. You enjoy yourself. Oh, no, I don't mind if I do. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so, if, if you were going to leave the chatting behind you and move into grime yourself, what kind of <laughs> rapper do you think you'd be? <laughs> yeah, um, well, there's always an option. Yeah. And the grime scene has been so, like, you good know, to you. good to me. Yeah. I just think I could give something back yeah. to, to the Essex, is it Essex Core? F64. <laughs> For the F64, I... Is that when you lose a job? <laughs> um, F F F64, it's quite a legendary um, series. It's a freestyle, it's a 64 bar freestyle that originated on um, SBTV where you kind of see a lot of big rappers do something completely different and fresh. Oh, I might do an F64. <laughs> well, I mean, if you want to, you know, go for maybe a, any freestyle off the top of your head now, this is oh. your time, baby. Oh, you know what? I've just had um, a lozenge <laughs> and I've got such a sore throat. Maybe they'll have oh, it. I yeah. Those lozenges really fill you up as well. I know. It's just wedged there. I wouldn't Ooh, want to die. Yeah. They uh, get, get in the middle. The F64. <laughs> they often get in, in between me and my lyrics. Rabbit, rag a tip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, I'll, um, I'll leave you to digest your lodgings. Thank you so the much. Lodging. Lo lodging. lodging. Uh, I'll, well, your lodging, your lozenge got I've lodged. Got my lodging stuck in here. How makes you make me throw is? I've got a youth hostel stuck here. <laughs> I've, I've got the Marriott in mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, well, I'll leave you to dislodge your lozenge. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us, Alan Carr. I'll see you next time. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>